What's up? What's up? If you're in here, like the stream, like the stream. Let's get more people in here. Then we're going to go ahead and start. Like the stream, hit the like. We're going to go ahead and start once you get a little bit more people in here. Eight people like the stream, like the stream, like the stream. All right. Let's get started. How is everybody doing? I hope you're having a great night and you had a great day. We're going to go ahead and get started here. There's eight people. Hopefully more will join. First and foremost, first and foremost, I'm going to say it in the beginning of the video, like I do every video, to those who haven't done it already, I need all my real supporters, I need everyone that likes my content, that supports me, to hit the link right there in the pinned comment and also in the description and follow my kick. Okay, I need you to follow my kick because we're taking over the internet and I'm going to be the king of kick and I'm taking over. I'm, I'm going to be one of the top creators on there. So I need all of my real supporters. If you haven't done it already and 37 of you guys did and I appreciate every single one of you that followed my kick, the 37 of you that did, I can't express how grateful I am for your support. But if you haven't done it already, I need you to hit the link right there, follow my kick. If you don't have a kick, make an account. It takes three seconds. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to say that in the beginning of every video because I'm promoting my kick and I don't give a shit. I know I'm taking over. I'm taking over the platform. Just a disclosure before we start. Yes, I used EDP's name in the title because... That's the only way it recommends my videos to you guys. So I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm going to be honest about it, bro. I don't really care, but I'm going to talk about him a little bit just because I put his name in the title, but it is what it is, bro. That's how the algorithm works. But yes, EDP is posting explicit content on OnlyFriends, as we should call it. And it's quite repulsive that he's doing this because... It's like, dude, it's like you made a horrible mistake. You did horrible things, like beyond anyone's imagination. But instead of, you know, repenting, finding God, finding a deeper spiritual connection, changing for the better, it seems like he's only gotten worse. And that's sad and pathetic at the same time. Because it doesn't have to be, be that way. And it's sad that he allowed that to happen and he didn't get help beforehand. You know, he, he, he knew what was wrong with him. He knew what he was into and the sick shit he was doing. And now it's like, this guy is going to die without repenting and without ever coming to terms about what he did. He's in a state of denial. And it's quite disgusting that he can't understand what a vile human he is. And instead of doing positive things, what is he doing? He's posting pictures of his shit on OnlyFriends for other sick people. I don't know how sick you have to be to actually subscribe. But he's doing this, and people are actually buying it. You know? And it's fucking vile. So that's all I have to say on that. I'm going to go ahead and answer your questions. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. I'm gonna answer every, every single one of them. If you haven't already, follow my kick right there. Hit the link, I would appreciate it. Like the stream and let me go ahead and read your comments. I'm gonna answer them one by one. Let's get it. What's up, Matt? EDP doesn't shock me anymore. Slob and disgusting. He doesn't shock me either. He doesn't shock me either. And, you know, I can't even describe in words how fucking pathetic it is. You know, it's sad at the same time. You know, I'm coming to realize it's very sad at the same time that he allowed himself to be so far gone mentally. 
and he didn't understand himself at all to the point where he allowed him to do what he did. And on top of the disgusting act that got him banned from YouTube and his pet <coughs> pedophilia and the shit he was on with little girls, he went ahead and did it a second time. So it's like, it is quite disgusting that this guy is over here never learning from his mistakes. It's disgusting. We're going to make con kick account and sub. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. Please do. Please do subscribe to my kick. I'm going to check during the stream how many people sub, bro. I'd appreciate it, bro. Because I'm taking over a kick. It's the future. All those retards could be top creators on there. Like these little kids, 20-year-old 20, 20 kids that go on there and promote degeneracy and horrible things. Why can't I go on there and promote a positive message and actually grow? You know, what the, what the what is this shit that all these little ass 20-year-old, 19-year-olds are on there? If they could do it, why can't I? You know, and I don't have to worry about it getting banned. Can we prank call some liberal hotels in California? You want to? You want to? Should we? What about in Seattle? What message do you want to promote on kick? I want to promote, like, you know, the, the shit I've been preaching, bro. Going to the gym, taking care of yourself. Um, you know, like the shit I've been saying, like, you know, stand for what's right, go to the gym. It's on a deeper level, you know, the shit I've been promoting on here, you know, eat healthy, take care of yourself, go to the gym, be in touch with reality, the shit I've been saying, bro, even to a different level, you know, I've been to a different level. You want to prank call some hotels? Should we prank call hotels, guys? If Let me know if we should. Let me know in the comments. You want me to prank call the hotel? Or or does somebody want to call into the stream? Or does somebody want to co come into the stream and talk with me? Which one do you guys want to do? Which one do you guys want to do? <laughs> I said, ask if they're sheltering trans homeless. <laughs> uh, Should we call? Last call. Where? Last call in New York. New York. Look, worst hotel in New York. That's what I'm going to type in. Yes, what are you doing? Bro, I'm one step ahead of you, buddy. Watch this. Pick up. They're not answering, bro. Let me call another one. How you doing? Your call. Please leave your number at Roosevelt Hotel. Okay. I'm calling. Transferred. 
Rosalie. Hello. Yes. Yes, I want to know if you guys are providing the free of charge rooms for the transgender migrants coming across the border. Um, I know this is a, something you guys were offering and at a heavily discounted rate. I want to know if it's still it's still available for you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Are you guys still offering free rooms for the transgender migrants from the border for the transgender? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sir. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because there was a promotion that there's free rooms with a government coupon for transgender migrants from mexico for transgenders and that do <laughs> let's do one more let's do one more <laughs> let's do one more let's do chicago <laughs> Uh, howdy. No, I still, I still New York. I still one more. How you doing? Mailbox is not currently. Come on, answer, man. This is crazy. This is in Chicago or the Illinois, is what, what I'm calling. Hello, and thank you for calling the Choice Hotel. If you're... Hello, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. I just want to know if you guys are still offering the free rooms for the transgender migrants from the border. I know there's a coupon going around that you can get a two night stay for free for the coupon that you show at the front. Is that still available? I've never heard of it. I do apologize, but let me ask. Yeah, please ask. I would appreciate it. Um, for the for your thank you so much. <laughs> Bro, they're actually doing this? Bro, they're actually giving these people free rules? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, you have to talk to in-house reservation because I have no clue about that. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll... Okay, and, I'll talk to someone. So I can call in-house tomorrow. Yes, correct. Okay, I'll speak to them about that because, yes, I did hear about this. Um, That is free. So thank you so much for your help. Not a problem. Enjoy the rest of your Thank you. <laughs> bro, they're actually. <laughs> bro, I said, are you guys. Bro, I literally said, I literally said, are you guys offering free rooms for the transgender migrants? And they said, you have to call back tomorrow. So that means they're doing something, bro. <laughs> that means they're offering something. <laughs> that means they're offering them something, bro. And if they're not doing it, another hotel is, bro. You can't make this look up, bro. All you can do is laugh. <laughs> What's up, Mike? <laughs> I just called this hotel and I asked them. I said, are you guys offering free rooms for the transgender migrants? It was in Chicago. It was called the Drake. I just called them. And they said, you have to call back and ask tomorrow. Like, they're actually giving these people free rooms, bro. If you come here 
and you're a transgender migrant. They're giving you free rooms, bro. And most of these hotels, if this was 20 years ago, do you know what she would have told me? Go fuck yourself. Screw off. Stop calling me. She actually sat there and said, yeah, call back tomorrow, <laughs> bro. That's crazy, bro. I, I can't believe that shit, bro. All you can do is laugh, bro, at this shit, bro. Like, it doesn't even bother me anymore. Like, all of this shit, the, the evil, the degeneracy, the, the whatever you want to call it that's going on, it used to really bother me on a deep level, but I'm just going to laugh at it from now on, bro. Like, I'm not going to sit here and and just get obsessed with it and let it make me angry, bro. I'm just, I am i don't care anymore, bro. Like, all you can do is just laugh, bro, at this shit, at this shit. You can't sit here and get mad and let it fuck with your head. Like, you got to laugh at this shit, bro. Like, this is, like, on another level. You know, you, you, you got to use humor to get around it because this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Like the stream. Like the stream. Oh, my God. And if you're in here... And if you haven't done it already, follow my kick. Hit the link. Follow my kick. It's also in the description. Follow. I'd appreciate it. Um, like I said, kick is the future. I'm going to keep promoting it. Call Texas and ask them the same thing. Imagine the BLAKC sitting in hosting projects and the government puts migrants in four-star hotel. I would honestly, I would prefer the blacks get um better treatment because they're actually American. Just my two cents, bro. Like, why? Why? If, if, if you're going to ask me who deserves it, like, which race deserves to get free shit, I mean, I would say the Blacks compared to them. Because at least the Blacks, you know, they've been here for a long time. They've, their families have been in America. They were brought here against their will. You know, these people are just literally crossing the border and they're getting more free shit than everyone. Black Americans are Americans. Well, I never said they weren't. I don't think those words came out of my mouth. I never said that they weren't Americans. They're obviously Americans. Duh. Like, I never said that they aren't, so I don't know why you would say that. The blacks should be getting pissed over this. Yeah, they should, bro. They should, bro. At the end of the day, if you're an American citizen, you're an American citizen. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic. I'm, I'm directly talking about the people that are coming now. You know? I'm not saying you have to be. If you're, if you're black, of course you're an American. You know? So are Indians. So are Chinese. So are Korean. They're all Americans. But none of them got this when they came. You know? They're kicking out American citizens. To put in migrants, and that's wrong. That's fundamentally wrong, you know. No blacks get too much now. Yeah, but that's not the question I was asked. I was asked who would I prefer to get it. And I would obviously prefer an American to get something like a government subsidy or free than someone who's not an American. How does that make sense? You know. Obviously, the American should get it because the they did something for the country. Whether it's their ancestors, whether it's something, they're Americans. So why should the um, why should um, uh, an illegal get it before an American? How does that make sense? That's stupid, bro. That's stupid. You can see you can sit here and say like, you know, black this, black that, and you know, I have my own opinions, but. You know, they were brought here against their will, and they didn't come here legally. So if you're going to ask me who should get something, like a hotel or a government assistance, an American citizen whose ancestors were brought here against their will, or an illegal that crossed the border, obviously, it would be the American. And then you can sit here and say, and this is the argument that liberals make. They say, they say, what do they say? They say this. They say, well, why does there need to be borders? We're all humans and we're all just one big family, right? 
Then let me pose this question to you so you can think about it. If that's the case, why don't we just open up the border and allow everybody from Africa and the Middle East and China to pour in? I'm sure they would come. Why don't we have a billion people cross the border and pour into the country to the point where we're shoulder to shoulder with everybody, if that's the case, right? That makes no sense. Like, it is stupid, right? And you sit there and say, why not? Why not? Well, they would all come. And sure, there's suffering in the world and there's pain in the world. And, you know, I, I don't wish bad on anyone. I don't wish bad on any human being. But at the same time, bro, like, it's literally stupid. Because if that was the case, everybody would come. And they would kick us out of the country. And there would be no room for us. They would all pour in. All the people from South Sudan, Africa, and Nigeria, and, and India, and, and China, and all these people would pour in, bro. So how is that a, an argument to make, to, to say that, to say that, um, that there should be no borders because we're all human. Yeah, we're all human. But at the same time, if there is no border, you have no idea who's coming. You know? There's a lot of messed up people out there that are coming. I'm not saying they're all messed up, but a lot of them are. Like the light switch. These people can't speak English. Why are, are they here? And yeah, if you want to bring some of them, like obviously like Mexicans or whatever, migrants, like they do some work. And I'm not saying we should have none or zero, but like if, if it's going to be a point where they're going to overpopulate America, then that's wrong. That's fundamentally wrong, right, to, to, to do it like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that all of them should go. If you're an American citizen, you should stay. And if some, if some of them want to come the proper way, then let them come, bro. But this is just out of control. And, you know, there's unfortunately nothing we can do about it. They're living on the streets. And I know they are. Are you from New York? Is that where you're from? Let us see that shit on the news. We got five people in here. Go ahead and like the stream. I'm going to give this a few more minutes, but if nobody else joins, I'm going to leave. So I'll give this another two minutes. Kind of a slow night. Just like you left California. Congratulations. Where did you, where did you move to? Christian, Mexico, what's up, Matt? Just followed you on kick. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Like I said, I live in the suburb of Chicago, like another shithole, but outside the city, it's very insulated. That's good, bro. That's good. Like I said, guys, if you haven't already, if you just came in here, follow my kick. Hit the link. Follow my kick. I would appreciate it. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're going to push it all the way. And mark my words, if I put my mind to it, I'm going to be one of the top creators on there, bro. Like, I don't care, bro. I want to take over. I want to leave my legacy. I want to leave my mark. And... All I need is a platform where I have freedom of speech and I'll do it, bro. That's it. Yes, it's a, it's a live streaming platform, but I can, I'm going to take snippets of my lives and post them on YouTube as well. It is more sustainable, bro, to do it that way. We're going to see who followed my kick right now. No, you didn't. I stopped 37. I have 37 followers. What the fuck? This guy said he fought and he didn't. What is this? Bro, what the fuck? Come on. If you're going to tell me you follow me, follow me. No, it's uncensored. Yeah. 37 followers. I'm going to give this a minute. Oh, you followed me three days ago. Okay, bro. I thought you followed me now. 
but thank you. Even though it's three days ago, I really appreciate your follow, bro. It means a lot. I'm about to go follow. Yeah, please do. Follow, hit the link. Get me to 38. Get me to 38. Okay, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the stream. It's going to be a short one today. But thank you for coming in. Like I said, I wish all you guys the best. Remember, take care of your health, your physical health, your mental health. Take care of yourself. Hit the gym. Eat clean. And sending good energy to all you guys, bro. Much love. I'm out of here. Thank you for your support. Follow my kick it's in the description below. It's right there. Like the stream if you haven't already so more people will see it. And again, thank you so much, you guys. Take care of yourselves, all right?